Did you know that I have a website that goes along with my YouTube channel that has a web page for every project and review that I do? For example, here's a video that I recently did on the portable clothes washer for my RV. I generally put a link to the web page in the video itself, but if you miss that, all you have to do is scroll down to the description and here you'll see the particular web page that contains the video plus the article. And farther down you'll see the general website. If you use the link in the video to access the website, you'll be taken directly to the associated web page. As we scroll down, we can see some of the information that is repeated in the video itself, but there's actually some additional information. For example, this will give you a link to the manual for the washer. And it'll also give you boondocking information. This shows the wash and rinse and spin cycles, how many watt hours that they use. And that in this case, I'm suggesting that you can use the Jackery 500 to power your washer. And as you can see here, I've embedded the original video back into the web page. So you can reach the video from the web page or you can reach the web page from the video. Now I do have links in here to Amazon. I'll make a disclosure that I do get a commission if you buy through those links. However, it does not cost you any more money and it does help keep the website free because this is very expensive for me to go out and buy all these things, install them in the RV and do videos on them. And also I provide them as a single source where you can find the items that I bought. Do your own research. Try to find the product for the best price that you can and buy it from there. I am fine with you not buying things through my affiliate link. I just put it there as a convenience. If however you reach my website by typing in www.rv-project.com, you will come to the home page of my website. And if you scroll down, you will see that I have a blog that I update maybe twice a month. And from any page, click on the disclaimer and you'll go to the legal section of the website, which will show that this is licensed according to the Creative Commons, as well as the use of cookies and all the other crazy stuff that we have to put on websites these days. And to navigate the website, you go to this top line menu. And when you click on the top line menu, you'll find a sub menu under it for everything within that category. We have menu selections for motorhome projects, trailer projects, repairs, campground cooking, places, which includes campgrounds and places to visit, gear review, tips, and resources. And also, if you find a submenu with a right arrow, that means that there's another menu behind it because I have so many projects on here that the main menu is just getting too large to manage. So, for example, if you want to know the different antenna and Wi-Fi projects, click on that. And then we have a submenu with a description of every project in that category. For example, constructing the ladder mount for the satellite antenna project. You'll see drawings and other information that is not in the video. So, for example, here's a drawing on how everything goes together shows some details on how to disassemble the donor flagpole, where to make the drill holes, and basically the overall gist of how this thing is built. And also I uh, have in this particular one a parts list with links to all the places where you can buy all the parts to make the project. And again we have the video now in some projects we have more than one video, it just depends. So you could use a menu system to kind of get an idea of what we have available at the website. In the gear review section we have some interesting topics such as portable solar power, selecting a multimeter, essential RV gear, adding a DISH HD satellite receiver, a 12 volt LED dimmer shootout, the 5 things a series, surge suppressors, and so many more topics. And in the tips section, we have high power DC wiring principles, a voltage drop calculator, connector types for your RV, winterizing your RV, winterizing a Nautilus P1 system, Lippert's ground control 3.0 leveling system tips, DC 12 volt voltage transit suppression. And in the resources section, we have 
the ability to contact me at rvproject.com, items for sale, which are generally residual items from old projects, panel templates and RV 3D parts, hard to find parts, spare parts list, RV wiring color codes, a lot of just technology and background information. I also have a menu system on the website specifically for mobile devices such as tablets and phones. However, the website is best viewed with a larger screen if you have one. So I hope this demonstration of my website has convinced you that this is actually quite a valuable resource and it should be used in conjunction with the project videos that I produce. Thank you for your support.